So you guys can probably see where I'm going with this. Quick note of safety with the four and a half inch angle grinder and the four inch angle grinder, always leave the guard on when you're doing the cutting with the cutoff wheel. For anyone that's new to the cutoff wheel, this is a quick way to cut metal around the shop. The angle grinder is very portable and you can make quick, clean cuts with the angle grinder. So what happens is you're doing a bunch of cutting and you get to a point where your cutoff wheel is worn down. You have a wheel on your grinder that's basically this small. You can see there's still about a little over half an inch until you actually start touching this edge, although you probably have, yeah, I'd say you have about a half an inch of cutting left here, but the diameter of the wheel has become so small, it becomes a little bit unwieldy with this. It's hard to maintain a straight line unless you have a cut already established. So once I've ground down a full size wheel down to this size and too small of a diameter to really work well with, then what I do is I will take this cutoff wheel and put it on my four inch angle grinder. Now, real quick note about the four inch angle grinder. It has a smaller arbor on there, which is one of these sizes. I think it's like 10 millimeter. And you use these adapters to allow you to use normal washer and locking nuts. So you can use the four and a half inch angle grinding attachments. So we'll just continue on with this little guy. So then I'll go from here to here. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've got about three sixteenths additional space to that half inch that I had on here. And that puts me at about 13 sixteenths of depth. So I have this four inch angle grinder hanging out and I will use this whenever I can to do additional quick and easy cuts around the shop. And then once that's worn down, then I'll wear this down to about three inches. This is just at three inches. And uh, then I'll get my third life out of it with uh, this contraption. It's a little bootleg right now. I'm going to turn something on the lathe so I have less parts to deal with. But right now I'm using, I think, three, three washers here. I've got this really thin brass washer here that floats on top and safely grips the cutoff wheel. And this other washer is thicker, thicker than this one by a hair. And there's just enough shoulder that protrudes into the cutoff wheel to keep it centered. This now three inch cutoff wheel is safely held in position on this quarter inch arbor, which I use for other cutting. So in its third life as a cutoff wheel on the, the die grinder, I've got three quarters of an inch of material here. I could probably use five eighths more of the cutoff wheel before I need to throw it away. So that's the three lives of the cutoff wheel. Just by having this set up, I can extend the life of my cutoff wheel by two times before they bite the dust.